Burns, Oregon. Burns is a city and in the county seat of Harney County, in the U.S. state of Oregon. According to the 2010 census, the population was 2,806. Burns and the nearby city of Hines are home to about 60% of the people in the sparsely populated county, the largest in Oregon and the ninth largest in the United States. The Burns-Hines region has a high desert climate but was much wetter in the recent geologic past. The Harney Basin was the largest of many depressions in which lakes formed in southeastern Oregon during the late Pleistocene. Remnants of an ancient lake that reached as far north as Burns are at the center of Malor National Wildlife Refuge, south of the city. Northern Payots are their ancestors, who were hunter-gatherers, have lived in the region for thousands of years. Since the arrival of Euro-Americans in the 19th century, cattle ranching and other forms of agriculture have dominated land use in the area. In 1930, logging in the mountains north of Burns led to the creation of Hines, a lumber company town, and the timber industry remained important to the local economy until the 1990s. In addition to ranching, a variety of private and public enterprises support the Burns Hines economy in the 21st century. Annual events include a migratory bird festival, the county fair, and a country music jamboree. Archaeologists have found evidence of human habitation in the general vicinity of Burns from as early as 10,000 years ago. Members of the contemporary Burns Paiute tribe of Harney County, descended mainly from the Waydaitika band of Paiutes, were hunter gatherers throughout central and southern Oregon. The Waydaitikas were named after the Wada seeds collected as food from near Malor Lake. Their territory covered about from the Cascade Range to near Boise and from the southern Blue Mountains to south of Steens Mountain. Scattered in the 19th century by clashes with white settlers and soldiers and through forced removal to distant reservations, some of the Paiutes eventually returned to Harney County. In the 1930s, the Burns Paiute tribe began buying land near Burns and holding tribal elections. By the late 1960s, the tribe had adopted a constitution and tribal bylaws, and in 1972 the Burns Paiute formally became an independent tribe, eligible to enter into contracts with other governments and legal entities. The tribe owns the Burns Paiute Reservation, north of Burns, and individual members of the tribe own more than of land elsewhere in the county. In 1991, the tribe had about 350 members, and about 200 lived on the reservation. After the arrival of Euro-American settlers in the 19th century, Burns was established in the 1880s. It was formally incorporated after Harney County's creation in 1889 through the splitting of Grant County into two counties. Early settler, merchant, and county commissioner George McGowan named the city after the Scottish poet Robert Burns. By 1891, the community had stores, a post office, hotels, and other businesses. McGowan was the town's first postmaster. In the 1920s, timber cutting and milling brought many newcomers to the region. In 1928, the Edward Hines Lumber Company acquired from the U.S. Forest Service the rights to cut timber in the Blue Mountains near Seneca, north of Burns. After winning the timber contract, the Hines Company built the Oregon and Northwestern Railroad between Burns and Seneca. Edward Hines, the company owner, built a lumber mill and company town, incorporated as the city of Hines in 1930. Timber and logging remained important to the local economy until the 1990s, when the area's last lumber mill closet for lack of timber. Cattle ranching in the region began as early as the 1860s and expanded after passage of the Desert Land Act of 1877. The act promoted development of arid and semi arid public land in the western United States by making plots available to individuals willing to reclaim, irrigate, and cultivate the land. Some of the Harney County ranches established in the 19th century still exist in the 21 ST. Agricultural revenue for Harney County in 2011 totaled about $84 million. Of this, about 65% came from cattle sales, 29% from the sale of alfalfa, and most of the rest from other crops and the sale of horses. Harney County is the largest county in Oregon and the ninth largest in the United States. It covers about but has a total population of only about 7,600. Most of that population lives in Burns or Hines, about southwest of Burns. Burns had about 2,800 residents in 2010 and Hines about 1,600, for a total of 4,400, nearly 60% of the county population. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, all land. Burns is in southeastern Oregon near the northern edge of the arid Harney Basin. The basin is part of the High Lava Plains, a region dominated by erupting volcanoes in the late Miocene, 5 to 10 million years ago. 
centered on the Brothers Fault Zone, which runs southeast-northwest between Steens Mountain and Bend, the High Lava Plains merge with the Blue Mountains to the north and the Basin and Range Province to the south. Shallow basins formed by crustal stretching in the Basin and Range Province were much wetter during the late Pleistocene, up to 11,000 years ago, than they are in the 21st century. Lakes formed in these basins, including those in the southern part of the High Lava Plains. Among these, the largest depression was the Harney Basin, covering within the Harney Basin, ancient Malor Lake, the 21st century remnants of which include Malor Lake, Harney Lake, and Mud Lake, covered and extended as far north as Burns. These remnant wetlands have become the Malor National Wildlife Refuge. Burns has a semi arid continental climate, Kutpin BSK bordering upon a continental Mediterranean climate, DSB, that averages 99 days with precipitation each year. Cloud cover varies from an average of 25% in July to 76% in January. Normal annual precipitation amounts to about, including of snow. The average relative humidity, measured at 4 p.m. daily, is 42%. Varying from 21% in July to 68% in December and January. The normal monthly daily average temperature ranges from about in December to in July. On average, highs reach on 24 days annually and stay at or below the freezing mark on 31 days, while lows fall to or below on an average of 11 nights. The average first and last occurrences of freezing temperatures are September 2 and June 21, respectively, allowing a growing season of 72 days. In January 1950, during a series of snowstorms the National Weather Service has identified as one of Oregon's top 10 weather events of the 20th century, a bout of snow fell on Burns. During another top 10 event, which occurred in February 1933, the temperature at Seneca reached, the lowest ever recorded in Oregon. By highway, Seneca is about north of Burns in the Blue Mountains. At Burns itself, record temperatures since 1939 range from on December 8, 2013. Up to on July 12, 2002, the record low maximum is on January 6, 1982, and December 21, 1990, while the record high minimum is on July 27 and 30, 1939. As of the census of 2010, there were 2,806 people, 1,280 households, and 720 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 1,490 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 92.2% white, 0.3% African American, 2.6% Native American, 0.7% Asian, 0.7% from other races, and 3.3% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 4.7% of the population. There were 1,280 households out of which 24.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him. 40.6% were married couples living together, 11.5% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.1% had a male householder with no wife present, and 43.8% were non-families. 36.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 13.9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.13 and the average family size was 2.77. The median age in the city was 44.5 years. 21.5% of residents were under the age of 18, 8.7% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 20.3% were from 25 to 44, 30.7% were from 45 to 64, and 18.9% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 51.2% male and 48.8% female. The median income for a household in the city was $32,877, and the median income for a family was $42,885. The per capita income for the city was $19,567. About 19.6% of families and 20% of the population had incomes below the poverty line. The Harney County Arts and Education Foundation, SIF, exists to support music education and the performing, visual, and theater arts in Burns and the region. The SIF is raising funds in hopes of creating a performing arts and education center with a 600 seat auditorium, art gallery, film studio, and other facilities for students and the community. The Portland Youth Philharmonic, which originated in Burns as the Sagebrush Symphony Orchestra, has performed in Burns in support of the SIF. Each April, 
Burns hosts the John Scharf Migratory Bird Festival and Art Show during the annual spring migration of waterfowl and other birds through Theria. Pelicans, ducks, and raptors are among the birds frequenting the Harney Basin wetlands, a stopping place on the Pacific Flyway. Named for a former manager of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge, the festival includes tours of the wetlands and nearby ranches as well as classes in Topic Suez Birdhouse Building, Harney County Archaeology, and bird sketching. The Harney County Fair is held annually in September at the Harney County Fairgrounds. The fair, which lasts about a week, includes a rodeo, carnival, talent show, horse races, parade, and other events, including those sponsored by 4-H and Future Farmers of America. The Harney County Historical Museum in Burns offers displays of relics, documents, and photographs from the region's past. Dot established in 1960 at the site of a former brewery, laundry, and wrecking yard. The museum is open five days a week, Tuesday through Saturday, from April through September and at other times by appointment. Burns has a mayor council government. Jerry Woodfin, one of seven elected members of the council, is the mayor. The city's public works department, consisting of a director and four full-time workers, maintains the water lines, sewers, and streets of Burns. The police department includes a chief of police, an office assistant, and three full-time officers who work for Heinz as well as Burns. City officers and employees include a city manager, city clerk, municipal judge doubling as the utilities clerk, and an office assistant. A tribal council governs the Burns Paiute tribe, immediately northwest of Burns. The tribe has its own police, court, and health and other services, including a tribal community center. The Harney County Courthouse is in Burns. County officials include a judge and two commissioners, a clerk, treasurer, assessor, district attorney, justice of the peace, sheriff, and circuit court judge. Harney County voters in 2012 voted heavily Republican. In the general election in November, Republican Mitt Romney won about 73% of the votes for S. President to about 23% for Democrat Barack Obama while other candidates and parties shared the remaining 4% in the contest for the U.S. Congressional 2nd District Representative, Republican Greg Walden garnered about 83% of the vote. In races for state offices, Republican candidates won between 63 and 69% of the vote in Harney County. Harney District No. 3 provides public education in Burns and Hines at Henry L. Slater Grade School in Burns, Hines Middle School and Burns High School. The district sponsors the Sylvie's River Charter School, which offers a home school program for kindergarten through second grade and an online curriculum for older students. Formed in 1903 by the Ladies' Afternoon Club, the Harney County Library in Burns has grown from an initial collection of 12 books to more than 30,000 items in 2013. Library offerings include public computers, wireless internet, video conferencing equipment, meeting spaces, and public programs, as well as books, magazines, newspapers, audiobooks, videos, DVDs, and access to interlibrary loan. The weekly Burns Times Herald is the only newspaper in the city. In 2006, five members of the Times Herald staff formed Survival Media LLC, which bought the newspaper from its former out-of-state owners. According to Survival Media, this was the first staff buyout of a newspaper in Oregon. Two commercial radio stations, KSQB, 92.7 FM, and KT, 1230 AM, are licensed to broadcast from Burns. Burns Municipal Airport provides general aviation services. The airport, with a flighted runway, is east of the city. Pony Express provides air freight service. Public Oregon Intercity Transit, Point is an intercity bus system that includes service between Bend and Ontario, Oregon. It departs from Burns once daily in each direction. The buses are wheelchair accessible, can seat up to 20 passengers, and can be used for package delivery as well as public transport. Harney District Hospital in Burns is a general medical and surgical hospital with 20 patient beds. HDH Family Care and Mountain Sage Medical operate medical clinics in the city. The Burns Hines VA Clinic in Burns provides general medical services to military veterans. Emergency medical services include air link critical care transport and life flight network via helicopter or airplane to the nearest appropriate treatment center. Work cited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.